Hello goat lovers, welcome back to the Blue Cactus Dairy Goat Ranch. It is 70 degrees today. It feels a lot like winter is over and we are outside of course working and trying to get a bunch of stuff done. Who's your friend there, Emily? Boo. Boo? <laughs> what kind of dog is Boo? Uh, or, Great White Pyrenees. Yeah? Looks a lot like a polar bear. No, Polly. Hi, big guy. So what you doing, babe? Well, I'm trying to get as many goats done today as possible. Um, so I'm drawing their blood, trimming their hooves, and giving them their selenium. Hopefully I'll get through half of them. Sound, sounds like a good goal. Yeah. And Emily, what are you doing? Grabbing goats. Yeah, are you helping mom? Does mom know that? I think so. <laughs> Have you done anything today? Yes. What? I stirred the compost. I put this weather tape on all five pipes. You didn't do the well though, did you? No. And why Emily's been helping Crystal and Darren was doing uh, whatever he was doing, I got the electric fence set back up in a new area for the does. Now all of our does are approximately two months pregnant now and they're looking a little plump. I think I was either feeding them a hair too much when they were uh, pinned up and being bred or they just need to get out there and start browsing again. The, you girls need some exercise, especially you, Lodi. Work off some aggression. Now the girls will have a giant new area, of course, to uh, frolic in and browse around full of all kinds of their stuff for them to eat. I'm sure they'll love it. I would love to get little Lodi here and all these other does out on the pasture today, but the solar charger needs a day to charge. And later in the week, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, they're talking about a rain event. And it would be better if the whole paddock area and all along the wire was good and wet. That way, if any of the does had forgot, um, they'll get a good zap when they test it again. Because the worst possible thing that could happen is if they lost fear of the fence so there's a chance that I that I wait until later in the week when when hopefully everything is wet um, of course the other side of that risk is we wait all the way until then and and it doesn't rain which has been the trend for 2020 so so far this is the third crazy that I've got up here on the stand um, and while I do have them on the stand I'm also checking if they're chunky um, panning them up and so forth sometimes they can get chunky but the three crazies that I've done so far, two of them, so it was Ruby, and who's the other one we did? Nova. Ruby and Nova, um, both of them checking their um, body conditioning, which I'll show you guys how to do that. Both are very chunky, but they also are approaching three years old and have never been bred, which you guys know I'm kind of against, but, um, and then Miss, Miss Roxy here, uh, the last kit time she actually kitted, it was when she gave birth to Ruby. So she also hasn't been bred or anything in, in approaching three years. So she is a little bit chunky also, but I'm gonna show you guys how to check to see if your goat is overweight. A lot of times it can get confused, if you will, and like, wow, that's a fat goat, but really they're not. They just have a really wide, healthy rumen. Um, but I'll show you guys, come on over and show you where to look for the extra fat. Okay, so the first spot you're, you're gonna wanna look is actually back here on their tail. So at the base of the tail, down here at the bottom, um, you just kind of move around. What you're feeling for is that bone in there, uh, the tail bone. And if it's super, super bony, obviously they're gonna need more food. Um, if you can hardly find it, that means they're fat. So she's, the body scoring is uh, one to five. And I would give her, five being the fat, real fat, um, I'd say she's like a three and a half, four. So she's not too, too bad, especially considering she's pregnant. But yeah, getting excited to get them out and exercising. Um, and then the other spot is right here behind their elbow. Um, and you guys can see that amount of fat I can grab right here. So she's not, she's not quite as chunky as the other two girls, but she needs to be out exercising. We also are attempting to get pictures of the new does for the website. We are notoriously behind on updating our website, but there's a lot of things to do. 
it's on it's on the list it's just not at the top of the list and it's a very very long list i have to get it updated but yes it's a very long list these girls aren't even on the website now ideally you want pictures of uh does and milk but we don't have any of those just yet so this is better than nothing Roxy is not enjoying her photo shoot. Good girl. Yeah, it's all fat. See the difference? Now see if she's getting a chunk behind the shoulder. Yeah, let's just get in there. So she looks perfect. She's got, she's like just over two months bred and uh, got quite the big belly here. So hoping she's got more than one. I like to see my first timers not have singles because singles can be big. One, two. She is so cute. And two little does would be perfect, right? Yes. Two little blue eyed. Two blue little does. does would be absolutely perfect. So, um, as far as drawing blood is concerned, I'm not going to draw blood on anything under a year um, simply because the results can come back incorrect. So, I am still going to give selenium and trim the hooves of the younger ones, but they don't get their, their blood drawn. Hi, Maybelline. And plus, you need some time on the stand, don't you, girl? I got a picture of this girl for the website either. The little ones. We're like really behind on the website. Open up, girl. There you go. Good girl. Tastes nummy, don't it, Maybelline? Smile pretty for the camera, Maybelline. There you go. Good. These Muscovy ducks have absolutely reached a breeding age. The other day I found five eggs on the ground and there is one but it's been too cold for them and they're seasonal and they're supposed to know that oh but they are definitely ready huh yeah so come may of 2021 with six hens i mean we're gonna have a lot of muscovy ducks next year i mean i, I bet somewhere between 150 and 200 muscovy ducklings are born here next year so if you happen to come by for dinner next year, there's a 50-50 chance that it's Muscovy duck for dinner. All right, so we've got Cammie on the stand and I wanna show you guys how to draw blood. It's something that can be very intimidating, uh, but shouldn't be, because it's actually very, very easy. Um, so, these are my vials. I just made a little box and named them and all that. Um, these are the blood vials. You just put their name on it. Um, and then you fill it. After you draw the blood, you just fill it with blood, put it right back in its slot. Um, so Miss Cammy here is going to be the one I'm using to show you guys. Now they got two main veins um, on either side of their neck. You gonna hold your head up for me, girl? Why are you acting weird? What the heck, Cammy? <laughs> All right, let's get that head up. So it doesn't, here that's that way, thank you. It doesn't matter which side you do, I always use their left side. Um, I'm gonna shave the area where the vein actually is, that way it's easier to see. All right. 
So for each goat, obviously, you're going to want a sterilized syringe. I use the six uh, mil because I'm, I aim for, you're going to want three to five milliliters of blood for the testing we do, which is CL, CAE, and Yonis. They're just three diseases that goats can get, but we don't want them to get. So the gauge I use is going to be an 18. You can use a 20. 18 just is a little bit quicker because it's a bigger, a bigger gauge. So what we're going to do is block off this main vein here, which is right here-ish. There we go. Hope you guys can see that. When you block it off, it starts bulging out and gives you a real good lump of vein to get into. So, just going to, oh, okay, hold on, she moved. So I've done like six goats and it all went seamless until Derek puts that camera on my face. I think her neck is just up. Nah, we're good. Maybe loosen up a little on there. There we go. All right, Cammy, be good. We're on camera, girl. There we go. Try to get five. And just hold it off a little. Good to go. So before you stick the goat with a needle in the neck, make twice. sure <laughs> twice. Make sure that the alcohol and cotton ball you have ready, you actually use it to clean the area before you do so. Um, so I realized I didn't clean it once I had no cotton ball to hold off the blood when I was pulling the needle out. So should have been done, so don't forget that step. Uh, it's amazing what you forget when you're trying to think of a million things and being recorded. All right, so the next step, we gotta get this blood into Cammy's little vial. So I have it all organized. She was with Champ, so here's Cammy. This part's super easy. Um, yeah, don't, don't forget to have tubes that aren't expired as well. So here, I'll show you guys. It has a suction. Just kind of stick the needle in and it does its job. Cool, huh? And that is it, guys. Not that scary. It's definitely, definitely not as scary as having the vet do it, especially on this many animals, because it's going to be a lot more expensive. So learning it yourself will benefit you. So I am going to do a whole video on how the whole thing is, is done, like going through, you know, what the lab, doing the paperwork, how it needs to be uh, packaged and shipped and so forth. Uh, so that I will do for you guys as well. How's your uh, pedicure going there, Camus Demis? It's kind of being on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you not satisfied with the service of this establishment, Cammy? Huh? Well, your opinion has been noted, Cammy. <laughs> All done, girl. All right, guys, get mom a goat. Oh, Elsa. Damn it. Oh, heck yeah. Girl. I'm not eating until you give me my own handful. Yep. Hi, Elsa. Jeez. You look a little yellow. <laughs> she doesn't. Maybe a little. I don't. You're in bad shape. You're in bad shape.
Let's see if you're chunk, Elsa. You're a little chunk. A little bit. You're awful wide. About three months pregnant. That is when you can start feeling babies move around. And you always feel it on the right side. I don't know why I'm feeling because that would be awesome if I felt a baby. But they're not, none of them are quite three months yet. And that is my hillbilly ultrasound. It's a good, it's a good collar holder. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a lot more goats to try to, to try to get through. I'm going to get through as many as possible today. Uh, definitely not going to get through all of them. So we'll be doing it again tomorrow, but want to get this done. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.